so that's um, that's my thought on on challenges and corollary to that I actually wanted to talk a little bit and I think this is another redux topic but I wanted to talk about another thing that I think keeps maybe not keeps people from doing challenges but something that people have heard you know through the through whatever fitness grapevines there they, you know they have their ears to ears or eyes I guess um, to and that's that it you know that oh, challenges are just program hopping and, you know, you should just, you know, you should you just pick one thing and stay with it. And again, I think that goes back to how the challenge is structured. So program hopping is, is interesting. I mean, I want, let's, let's just talk about that. I mean, I think, I think uh, this is going to be a super unpopular way to look at this. And it's, it is, there is going to be a lot of qualification, but, um, I think there's a lot of ado made about program hopping that may may be unwarranted because I, th I think nowadays a lot of people have gotten really good at writing programs. There are, a, I mean, and not that not that writing good programs is super hard. I mean, it definitely is a skill in and of itself. I mean, hey, I just paid. Two thousand bucks to take a, a an eight week course on on how to write programs, um, but um, I think as more people kind of get savvy to the tenets of smart training, you know things like sticking to basic patterns and proper progression and regression, and you know things like. I don't know, things like metabolic stress or things like, you know, rep ranges for specific uh, goals and outcomes. I think what you're finding, and this is coming from somebody who's done a lot of programs and looked at a lot of programs and written a lot of programs, is that the gap between a lot of programs is not that big anymore. Um, I, I almost think that if you if you have a good idea about what your goal is i think you can find programs within that bucket that are all going to largely be complementary at at the very least complementary but they may even be i, I don't want to say they're going to be the same program but i i think i, I think the delta between them is going to be so insignificant that you're not really program hopping you know what you're doing is you're just you're just changing some order. You might be changing some specific exercises, but you're still training the same paradigms and you're still working the same principles. And on some level, you're still working the same methodology. So I would actually say if you're at a point, you know, say you've been on a program for six months and you know, maybe you're still making changes, but you're a little bored. I, I think there's nothing wrong with with maybe just making a, you know, just taking a step to the side and, and looking looking for something else that might be, you know, for example, say you're doing, I'm going to get a little specific here and I, and I apologize if like, if, if, if you lose the frame of reference on this, but uh, say you're doing uh, something like Dr. John Russin's um, functional power training, which is kind of a strength and power, you know, conjugate based, based program, and you decide to jump to something like 531, which is another kind of pure strength program, you're going to be changing some things. Like, obviously, you won't be doing as much, say, banded work unless you write that into your 531. You won't be doing, you know, dynamic effort, but, you know, you won't be doing max effort, but you'll still be doing a lot of similar movements. You'll still be doing a lot of strength based training. And I think the, I, I don't think you're going to be throwing your system for as big a loop as people make it out to be. And, and, and again, like I said, there's, there's a lot of qualification in what I just said, and I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole unless somebody really wants me to. And, and if you hit me up and I'm happy to talk you through kind of what I'm, my thought process there, but I, I think, I, I think it can be done in such a way where you're still going to continue to make progress. You're still going to be meeting the goals that you're interested in. And you're actually, I don't, I don't think you're actually gonna take any steps back. So that to I guess to circle back to what how that kind of lines up how that's corollary to to fitness challenges you know I mean 
depending on how the workouts for said fitness challenge are structured, it might be, like I said, you might be just making that little jump to something that's that's similar to what you're already doing. Or in my case, you might be jumping to something that is complementary to your to your long-term goal, right? So uh, I think I mentioned this, but you know, one of the things that I was really excited about with Rise 45 was that it was a GPP program, you know, general physical preparedness. And that's something I hadn't done almost ever. I haven't done GPP in a long time, which is a weird thing to say, right? Um, for, 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 a, you know, a martial artist for, uh, but it, uh, it was definitely a big departure from what I was doing, but so this is kind of the other side of the spectrum. So it was a big departure from what I was doing, but at the same time, there were a lot of movements and a lot of paradigms that were similar. Cause I'd come off of doing uh, FPT, um, you know, functional power training, which again, so I was doing, you know, a lot of speed work, a lot of banded work. I was doing, you know, cleans, I was doing, uh, you know, banded box squats for speed and for time. And then to move to something where, you know, I'm doing snatches and I'm doing, you know, push presses. So similar movements, similar ideas, very similar programming, but there were just enough kind of changes to things like the set rep scheme or the time scheme where, it was a slightly different where, where the outcome was different. And, but to me, like it didn't feel super different to my nervous system, my CNS, for example. So it's kind of like, okay, I'm still sort of doing the similar, so the same thing, but different enough that is eliciting different changes. So I guess to wrap this up, cause uh, I, I'm starting to kind of, I guess I'm kind of starting to go, go down a rabbit hole here. Um, don't not do a challenge, boy, that was great English. My, my, my mom is, is hopefully not gonna listen to this and shoot me because she's a teacher. Um, but don't avoid doing something like that, especially when the opportunity comes just because you're worried that, <clears throat> oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm programming hop, I'm program hopping and now I'm the worst person in the world. No, okay. <laughs> Take a look at how the challenge is structured. Take a look at however this thing you want to do is structured and see if it lines up with, if it in any way lines up with what you're trying to do. And, you know, there's ways you can, and there might even be ways to, to do it, you know, to go back to Rise 45. This is one of the things that they told us initially was like, yeah, the, the program is is completely tweakable. And, you know, if you post in the, and again, the value of having a group in a community, you know, the coaches actually said, hey, if you post in the group and you have questions about how you, how you might be able to change or how you can modify the programming to fit your goals closer, we're happy to do that. And again, that's another thing that hopefully like there, that you just provide with your challenge. So that's, so, so I think that's a way to approach that without kind of worrying about the, uh, the, the program hopping boogeyman there. Um, you know, obviously if, you know, you, you know, say you just started a, uh, let's just say you just started a pure strength program two weeks ago and then you're jumping to a hypertrophy program. Well, it's like, well, okay, that, that's a bit of a stretch, but again, there's, there's ways to make it not as bit of a stretch. And this is a giant, giant conversation guys. I mean, now we're starting, like I said, we're starting to really get into the weeds of how to program. And, uh, again, if this is something you guys want to hear me talk about, send me a DM. I mean, I, I will do a whole episode on programming. Um, I, cause it's, you know, it's something that I'm, that I'm, I mean, really, really passionate about. I mean, I, I mean, I, this is going to sound super dorky, but I write programs just for fun, just for myself. Like, and I, like, like I have, like, if you look at my Google sheets, I have tons of programs I've written that I have never actually done. I just kind of wrote them because I had an idea and I wanted to see what it looked like on paper. And like I said, you know, I'm taking this course on programming, uh, on how to write programs. I'm actually going to take another one. Um, uh, the bot, like, like it's just BP train now, but it used to be box programming. Uh, um, you know, he's got a, he's got one, uh, he's got a course on programming that I'm probably going to take, you know, I took, um, uh, what is it? The, uh, the, the certified conditioning coach, uh, program. Um, so, which again is just how to write conditioning programs. So I've taken a lot of courses on how to write programs and I, and I, it, it's, it's, it's fun. I mean, it's, it, as somebody who, writes programs for a living of a different sort. It, it's funny like how similar, and I think I've talked about this a little bit, but it's funny how similar writing software is to writing training programs, um, you know, from on, on all kinds of levels. And so again, that's another thing that I'm, I'm not, that's another rabbit hole I'm not gonna go down unless somebody really wants to hear me talk about that. Cause I mean, I'm happy to go deep and nerdy on it, but um, 
but yeah, so I, I think that, so let's, so we'll go ahead and just wrap that, 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 that topic up too. But yeah, so point, point being, um, you know, don't, don't be afraid to, to jump into something like that because of, like I said, the program hopping boogeyman. And Hey, if you have questions about that, if there's a challenge you want to do, if there's a thing you want to do, and you're kind of curious about how it might fit into your current cycle or your goals or your schema or whatever, hit me up. I am happy to like, I'm happy to go over it. I'm happy to walk you through it. I'm happy to do some consulting on it. Or, you know, if you're in a challenge or if you're going into one and, and you have questions about how you might be able to fit it to certain goals, same thing, hit me up. I'm happy to, to kind of give you some suggestions about how you can tweak the workouts, tweak, um, tweak the pattern, the programming, whatever, to kind of fit whatever it is you're trying to do, but still keep to the spirit of that. 